Welcome to a mini trim demonstration video. It's the DIY fitting instructions to replace a perished top rubber seal on a cloth roof for a mini R52 convertible. You're going to need a few tools as shown and hopefully this video will help you to install the product successfully. Um, you've got two seals in the pack, um, both adhesive tape on the back. Also in the pack you've got uh, emery cloth and fitting instructions. Okay, we've taken these off the car and we've already shaved the perish rubber off the seals but this is just to demonstrate using a sharp knife you'll just need to get those flat against the chrome. Also it helps the adhesion of the new tape uh, on the back of the rubber seals to fix to the plastic trims. If you just give a quick etch with the emery cloth supplied within the kit. And then once you've done that, just apply a little bit of white spirit to the back of the trim, uh, just to make sure they're nice and clean. So the adhesion from the tape is, um, is good. Just let that dry. It's also good to use a hairdryer uh, before attaching the trim. If you uh, get the plastic uh, warm, the adhesive tape on the back of the uh, rubber seals will actually stick so much better. So uh, that's a good tip to use a hairdryer just to warm the strip. Then you can start applying the strip and pull back the, uh, the cover off the adhesive tape and start to apply. You need to start at the quarter light end, um, not the brake light end, uh, just slightly over the edge and then start to stick at a 90 degree angle on the back of the plastic. Do this all the way along until you reach the other end uh, where obviously the, the brake light will fit once it's put back on the car. So at the other end, don't cut the uh, rubber seal at this stage, just leave it overhanging um, and then when you fit the trim back into the car you can trim that off uh, to, for a snug fit. Another handy tip is when you've fitted the um, rubber seals to the plastic strip, again use the hairdryer again just to gently warm the rubber. And when you've done that, just press it firmly into place and it just gives that extra adhesion and a nice sealed fit. So there you have it. They're both fitted now with their new rubber strips. Uh, you can, of course, add a silicon sealant to fill the gaps in between if you wish, but on this particular Mini, the, um, the finish is pretty good. And then finally, don't forget just to trim the edges before it goes back on the car. So it's got a nice finish where the quarter lights will meet the new trim. Okay, a bit of a handy tip here is undo the latches under the boot and then you're gonna prop the rear end of the roof. And uh, something, um, we used to use a prop to actually hold this up but somebody tells about this handy tip and you can just simply put the latches into the holders of the boot lid and that will hold it in place while you refit the plastic clips um, using the torque screws to the back of the vehicle. There it is, it's fitted and there you can see the seal above the brake light which has been trimmed whilst it's actually on the car. Uh, we use actually a pair of small scissors to do this so we don't damage the roof lid and this is the finished trim. As I said, you can use a uh, windscreen silicon uh, sealant just to put around there if you wish, but our car is in pretty good condition, so we've, um, we've finished it at that. We hope this video has helped, and thanks for watching. <laughs>